Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for September 29th of 2025 is titled Two Camera Comets in One Sky. So, what do we see here? Well, here we see what looks like two comets close together, and they are close together in the sky, but are actually not close together in space. And that's because when we look at things in the sky, we see everything on a great celestial sphere. So while it looks like the comets are traveling through the stars, racing each other perhaps, they are actually much closer than the stars, but also quite a distance from each other in the sky. However, we can see distinct resemblances between them, and we do have Comet Swan, the brighter comet on the right-hand side, which has a very distinct head and coma around it and tail stretching back, and Comet Atlas on the left, which looks very similar, but a little bit smaller. So you could think maybe that's because of its distance, maybe it's farther away from us, or it could be because it is simply not as prominent of a comet. It does not get as strong. Or it could be a combination of those, plus the fact that one of these comets has already made its closest approach to the sun and is now heading out of the solar system, so it's had the most time to be energized, and that would be Comet Swan, whereas Comet Atlas is still on its way in toward the sun. So, the difference is there is that the brightness of a comet can depend on several things. It depends on how close it is to Earth, how close it's been to the Sun and is to the Sun, and the actual structure of the comet itself. Those three things together can make a comet more or less prominent. And if you can get all three of those, a comet that is close to Earth, has been really close to the Sun, and is has the right structure with a lot of material to cause a large coma and tail, that's when we get very prominent comets in the sky. Now, at this point, Comet Atlas is not expected to get very bright. Comets are very unpredictable, but based on previous observations of similar comets, it's not one that we expect you'll be able to see without a longer exposure on a camera, probably through a telescope, to be able to pick up the detail. Comet Swan is getting a little bit brighter and will actually be closest to Earth in mid-October, so a few weeks from now, and possibly becoming bright enough to see without the aid of binoculars or a telescope. Now again, comets are very unpredictable, so it's possible that it could get much brighter than we expect. It's possible that it may not get near as bright as we hope that it would. So, as we had a nice comet visible about a year ago, now we have another possibility of seeing a comet that may be visible at least through binoculars or a telescope, and that would be our Comet Swan here. So, that was our picture of the day for September 29th of 2025. It was titled, Two Camera Comets in One Sky. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Double Helix Eclipse. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.